see the government of India, the agencies uh, of the government of India are already on the job of investigation into the bomb blast that happened in a prayer meeting uh, the other day in Cochin in Kerala. Uh, I don't want to say anything more on the progress of the investigation. I am sure that uh, in the course of time, we will get to know uh, the persons or the issues that has to be brought to the public notice about that. But what I would like to say is that this issue of this bomb blast is being utilized by the state government to raise allegations against BJP and in particular against Sri Rajiv Chandrasekhar. The Chief Minister yesterday and day before yesterday, he met the media, but he didn't say anything about the dangerous situation where an individual can make IEDs, plant it in places where people get crowded, they can go and plant it in multiple centers, get it blasted, and can get away. This is a very dangerous situation. That the Kerala, Kerala has become such a vulnerable place where an individual can go and indulge in such terrorist acts. It is a failure of the intelligence mechanism. It's a failure of the law and order mechanism. It's a failure of the state police and the home ministry of the state. And so what are the steps being undertaken by the state government to allay the fears of the common man that it is not safe to live in Kerala? It is not safe to go to a public place in Kerala. It is not safe to go to a place of worship in Kerala because any individual person, whatever his motive is, can come and cause harm to the general public. Kerala has become such a place where soft state, where anybody can, can come and cause harm to any other person. This situation is a very dangerous situation. This situation is a very alarming situation. So I want the chief minister to allay the fears of the people. What steps have been taken? to find those who are accountable for such a situation, what steps are being taken to ensure that such things doesn't happen in future.